and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, play Sam and Max off of the internet. Sam and Max hit the road. Maybe you haven't tried these games before and you'd like to see if it's worth your time or maybe you played it way back when um, it was initially released and you'd like to be able to play it again or maybe you own the rights to this product and you want to see if it can be downloaded off the internet. Well if you're any of those people then this video is certainly for you. All you have to do is get the um all you have to do is you need a BitTorrent client. Oops, I misspelled that. A BitTorrent client. You need the game files and you need a, um, a decompressor. You also need the scum engine. However, um this file already comes with that. So you you don't actually need to worry about downloading that one. Okay. So the first thing we do is that we need a BitTorrent client. So the one I like to use is uTorrent. And actually, let's just go to utorrent.com. We could Google search for it, but I'm kind of tired of doing that. So, utorrent. Alright, this is really easy to use if you don't have it already. Just go free download, it automatically starts downloading. You open it in your downloads, and then you um, drag utorrent into your applications. Uh, applications folder. Um, you can open it or launch it from there. The next thing you need are the game files. So we go to the piratebay.org, piratebay.org. Um, you can search for it. You search for Sam, oops, Sam and Max hit the road. Okay, this um, this video is specifically for Mac users because I'm using a Mac. Um, wait, let me see here. Full game. Works on both Mac, PC and Mac. You might think that you can't play it because it's, if you look for games and you search for Mac, it might not show up. It may or may not. Anyway, this is the link you want. You click on it. And then you go download this torrent. It works just like any other torrent. Um, you, when you download it, you open it in your uTorrent client, and then this is it. Sam and Max hit the road. You, um, you go from general to files. So it comes with installation instructions, the game files, and then it comes with the scum engine. That's why it's called scum here and here. Um, you see they're both scum engines. If you're a Mac user, you just need this file. You don't need this one. If you're a Windows user, you don't need the Mac file. You just need this one. So what I did, because I'm a Mac user, I initially went control click under the Windows scum engine and said don't download. Right. And then I just put it back because um, I thought people might want to I thought I might want to see it. So after you do that, you wait for it to download. It will show up in your fi uh, finder folder. You go Sam and Max hit the road. Open it. Um, okay. So you open it and then you'll see that it has it has all of these files in it. So actually you don't have this one yet. You only have this and the only way to open it is to unzip it or um, extract it, decompress it. Those are all synonyms. If you're a Mac user you might not have a um, application to open it with. For example, I downloaded these freeware off of the internet. You can they were all recommended. I think they all work. Um, this was just the first one I downloaded, I think, so it's my set as my default. So let's go get that. Let's go to zipbag, zipbag.com. And I'll, I'll also be listing those these sites in the little um, bar or whatever. <clears throat> okay, so you go free download. Make sure that it's compatible with your operating system. Um, and then you can open it. What I like to do is I like to go back to Finder, go open with ZipEgg. Alright, the next thing I like to do is I like to go click on this file, Sam and Max, right click, um, or control click I think, um, press extract. What I believe this does is I believe it saves all the files in this ZipEgg application onto your desktop under the Sam and Max folder. Once it's on your desktop, you drag it off your desktop and put it inside the Sam and Max Hit the Road folder. And 
and then once it's after it's saved on your desktop, you drag it and you put it into the Sam and Max Hit the Road folder, and then there it shows up. Those are the um, that's how many files should be in there. Um, okay, the next thing that you want to do is that you want to launch um, whichever uh, whichever engine that you have. So if you had this engine, double click it. It'll open an external drive uh, over here. I already have the most most current one, so that's what this one's about. So and then you take this and you put it into your applications. Um, okay. So what it's gonna look like? Um, it's gonna look like this. This one is not in my applications because, like I said, I have the most current one. But this is. Uh, I'll just show you what this one specifically looks like. It works on either of them. None of these should be here. You go to add game. Then you find wherever you saved it. So in this case, it's under downloads. So we go to Sam and Max at the road. Sam and Max. We pick twos. And see how it shows up here? This is perfect. It's fine. Um, their readme says something about you can go to graphics and you can change the graphics if you want. The default settings work for me though. So you click OK. I'm not going to since I already have it. And then from there you should be able to click it or double click it and press start. And then the game will go. Friends! Friends! Okay, um, so that's how you play Sam and Axe. Hope you enjoy it.